On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me one baby doll and two baby feet. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a color baby with just a head and no feet. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me G G G G G G G. Hey, everybody! <laughs> Okay, y'all know I am so creative with my singing, like, oh my gosh, like, <laughs> I totally love me, right? Okay, um, so anyway, I, I, I don't have nothing to say, but I was supposed to be doing Vlogmas. I don't know what to do for Vlogmas, so should I show a baby every single day? I think I got at least 30 babies in here, so I think I could do 25 babies. So I'm already on, what today his date is? Day three, so I missed yesterday, so I owe y'all a second video. So, okay, I just want to give everybody a quick update, real quick update, quick, quick update. Um, and then we can, I'll do another video to make up for Vlogmas. Okay, number one, the chatterbox. I did close down the first tier. I did a, vi I did a post and I did a video. And I had that up for a while. Um, and then telling people that I was actually going to close the chatterbox down completely. But I was not sure how I wanted to do it and I was going to phase it out. So I did tier one ended on December 1st. Um, tier, the next level is still up and running. Um, we did a live stream and everybody's like, just keep this tier open. I'm like, well, I'm gonna at least keep it open for the rest of December. January, I will probably still close it, but not quite sure just yet. So, if you got refunded by YouTube, that's why you got refunded because the tier no longer exists. Um, a lot of people did just hop over to the next level to ride the wave with us. For the remainder of the time, that's totally up to you. I'm still updating. I'm still doing, you know, I'm still giving, uh, what do you call it, content in there as as a go. So that's that. Um, a lot of changes is made, moving in my collection. I have sold Jaden. I have sold India. I have sold um my, uh, I actually sold Zende. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let me explain. So I am going to paint a, another, uh, Zende sculpt. I am going to paint and I'm reserving the name for Zende. I just want to do another version of it for my lifetime collectible baby. That sculpt is very very near and dear to my heart so I will have that as a forever baby in here so that name is still gonna be for that reserve for that particular sculpt so um that's 2023 wait for it it's gonna happen I promise you um I have sold my Lulu with the Laura limbs <clears throat> as well and I'm trying to think of who else is gone and then I'm working on some other private orders behind the scene um so that's that so that's one thing I wanted to say so I did not kick anybody out I don't have the authority to kick anybody out of YouTube and YouTube isn't tripping it's just that I am trying to downsize in my obligations as well as my collection as well as um, a lot of things going to be changing because for 2023 I have a lot of projects that I want to do and so if you are interested in a baby for me next year look out I will be working on more full bodies than anything next year um, the, um, I am not, Brady is still here. I'm not going to take a reserve on Brady just yet because 
I already have three heads up, uh, ahead of him and I don't want to get myself too overwhelmed because that's already pressure for me to try to finish rooting. Um, I got to finish rooting Jaden and then when I finish painting Nori, I got to root Nori and then I have to root India. So that's already three heads and y'all know how I am about my little rooting problem. So I don't want to get myself too ahead of the game. Um, once I get Jaden home, and Nori home, then I may possibly do uh, uh, Brady, which is my Christopher Robin, if I am still saying I'm going to let him go. But what what happens is the um, doing it that way I found helps people have somewhat of a layaway. Um, because they're able to pay like half down and then they worry about the balance once the baby is complete, which gives them time. However, 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 I am selective on who I choose to work with in that capacity. Just because you know how it go, people will bail out with you. They don't keep their word or, you know, you just don't want to get left stuck holding the bag. Okay. In this case, holding the baby. Um, I am painting a full body kit sculpt, so my, my cuddle baby with hands is leaving next year, and that's because I did get that one, um, to paint, and I'm also planning to paint one to sell, we'll see how that goes, um, so I'll just... You know, and as and and my new thing for 2023 is what I'm working on is just having the baby fully completed and then introduce it to you guys. Um, if I decide to keep the chatterbox open, I will. Um, I mean, the next level, I will probably do kit reviews in there, and then you guys will see them when they're completed. But anyway, other than that, so vlogmas, I want to. Uh, do I want to have fun with it, but I don't know exactly what to do. So I want to get my daughters to help me come up with some ideas. But Bryson, my grandson, birthday is today. So he's turning one. And so we're going to do a little cakey to cake ice cream. Nothing big because at one year old, they don't know what's going on. And I, I have drilled it in my daughter's head not to waste money for show. Because a lot of times that's how I feel. I feel like birthday parties is for show. The kids don't remember it. They don't care nothing about it. They, a lot of times they hate it because it's too many people. It's just too much for them. And, and then they don't like cake usually at that age. A lot of them don't. Some do. My kids never really did. Um, so we're just going to do immediate family type situation. And so, um, you know. Like Audrey will be three next year, so we'll most likely have her a more bigger event because she'll be three and she'll really be able to understand a little bit better and enjoy it. Um, so that's that. So I've been trying to work consistently, even though we're dealing with the holidays, a lot of family likes to be around, come around and stuff. It, it's a little challenging. Um... But I am working through it. Um, okay. So what else? Uh, next year I will not be doing any customs, any private orders. I will be finishing up. You will see orders going out to people. But it will be ones that is left over from this year. So I think I'll probably have like maybe two or three that's lingering. Um, that's already scheduled for next year. But I will not be taking private orders, period. I will not be taking custom orders, not from my friends, not from anyone. So that's my new thing. I just, I'm going to stick to that. I'm not going to do suggestions. I am keeping my ears open. And I do hear what people want to see from me. So I will, if I like the kit or you know, want to paint it, I will put it probably in my rotation of things to paint, but I don't want to have no type of obligation because I want to, um, this is my year to grow 
and be able to step out of my comfort zone and do a little bit more with my silicone painting. So I want to really, really have complete freedom, no time restraints, because you know, some babies might take me two months to paint, some might take me two weeks. I find that sometimes when I really take my time and do a little at a time, a little at a time, I get a really great result. Gigi, even though I call her my peaches and cream, Gigi, I painted on this baby for months, actually. A little here, a little there, and that's why it's so hard for me to let her go because I absolutely love her and I think she turned out so beautiful. That's just my personal taste, my personal opinion. Of course, I may be biased because I am the one that painted her. So, yeah. Um, but I've really, I'm, I'm just really like funny about that. Let me, let me zoom out a little bit more so you guys can see her a little bit more. But yeah, so that's that. Uh, oh, cuddle babies, cuddle babies, cuddle babies. Next year I won't be doing many more cuddle babies as well. Um, I also have a Ryan here. But I'm not going to even speak if I'm going to sell him or not until he's actually fully rooted. Um, but he's partially there. Gigi is more rooted than any of them. So she'll probably get finished. But I plan to keep Gigi, to be honest. Um, and I'm going to finish rooting her so she can have hair. And she will be my girl. Um... I did some videos talking about silicone care and silicone shopping, and I just decided not to upload them. But one thing I do want to say is that I do love a variety of silicone. I love micro preemie, which is like Nori. I like regular preemie to small newborn. Um, and then I like these size babies as well because I love this baby for dressing. I really do. I love, I love her. I love that she could fit a lot of stuff and that's just definitely one of the biggest things that draw me to her is that I don't normally like to dress my babies up but for whatever reason this baby I, I enjoy dressing I like putting her on socks I like putting her on shoes and that's something I'm not I don't usually care to do is like put my babies on shoes and stuff like that or get them like dressy dressy but with her I do I really like doing that and so I just, you know, I just feel like she just, just a baby that I really, really just want to keep. And I've, I've worked so hard and I've sold a lot. And so I feel like I, I, I can comfortably be okay and not feel guilty and just keep her. Cause I bought her initially to sell. So, um, that's where I'm at with that. All right, so that's it. So let's get to the fun part. Let me know like what you want to see for Vlogmas um, over the next 20 days or so. Put it in the comment section. Message me. Let me know, and I will try to see if I can make it happen. I'm going to ask my girls for some ideas. I know we're going to be doing some challenges, challenges or whatever and stuff like that. We're going to, you know, build some gingerbread houses, I think they said. Um, so we'll see. But right now, I'm so busy right now. I, ca I can't do too much yet. So give me a little bit of time. Get this baby. Once I get Jaden head rooted, because it's the biggest head, trust me, I'll be feeling woosah. <laughs> okay. All right. See you guys later. Bye.